Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Lexi and today we're going to be talking about single black women from western countries looking for love and marriage in Africa. Now if you're single and ready to mingle you want to think twice before heading to Africa and if you want to know why Africa might not be the best spot for single black women stay tuned. Now you've probably heard about the Western women who moved to Africa alone that were unalived by their husbands and boyfriends. It's been all in the news, all over YouTube. They all traveled alone to Africa and most were over 50 years of age, bringing with them significant amounts of money from their retirement and savings. Now in the majority of cases, no investigation was done and the men absconded with all of their money and assets. I just want to reiterate that if you're moving to Africa, you cannot go unaccompanied by a man or family. So if you're a single woman, you must be accompanied because if not, you're going to be a target for these scammers. Now, it doesn't mean that you're not going to be a target because that's just what they do. You know, it's, 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 a daily type of it's, it's daily living okay romance scamming land scamming bribery and extortion that's day-to-day -day living in Africa so it's gonna be 10 times 20 times worse if you're a woman alone and especially if you're up in age I mean there are African uh, or black women coming from the diaspora that are like 60, 70, 80 years old, and they're relocating to Africa alone, and that's just not smart. Because we do not have the support system in place in Africa, you know, for them, so, or for us, I should say. So just, just don't do it. Now, and I also want you to remember when you're in Africa that everybody's in on it, okay? So it doesn't matter if there's if it's the mother, uh, father, grandfather, the grandkids, or daughters and sons, the people at work, the pastor, everybody's in on it. So just never let your guard down. Now I want to give a few tips real quick uh, so you can be safe, okay? So don't travel alone to Africa, let alone moving there. You know, go with the group. And if you want to relocate to Africa, please uh, bring somebody with you, an uncle, a cousin, you know, a male that can help protect you. If you don't have any protection, I know we like to say, I don't need a man, blah, 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 but sometimes you really need a man. You actually need one. And I would say, moving to Africa, you need a man. You cannot be unaccompanied, okay? Don't give any contact information, including social media, to anyone. It doesn't matter if it's a male or female, or a little kid or a teenager. Don't give your information to anyone. Don't get involved with any man that approaches you and wants to show you around. And you know he's you know he's tall, he's good looking, and he's smiling, and he's saying age doesn't matter, because it absolutely does. So, and you just got to know if you're 60, 70 years old, and you know there's this. 20 year old or 20 something year old trying to hook up with you that uh you know he's going to be cheating on you but you know that's you know that's another video there so just don't get involved with any man in anybody okay don't give your contact in information to anyone be careful okay because they will use your desire to connect with your ancestry to africa to manipulate you into buying land or spiritual blessings or whatnot and, you know, they'll say, you know, E5, you know, said you should do this or that. And, of course, it's going to involve, you know, you spending some money and them benefiting from that. And, uh, and of course, it's going to cost, you know, a hundred times more than it's going to cost a, a local. So just, just be careful. And if you remember this one thing, then you'll be okay or you should be okay. All they want is your money. Okay, don't give them any even if the guy starts crying. And I had I had that happen. I had one cry over the phone, you know, uh, but he was faking and trying to manipulate me into sending him money. So just be careful. Don't be sending nobody money via Western Union. 
Don't be paying for school fees. I mean, look, I mean, if you if, unless this is just something you just really want to do, but I am telling you, the more you give to them, the more they're going to want. And if they start getting used to getting those funds, you know, the minute you get tired of, of sending it, you know, it's going to be trouble. You know, you're, you're going to be on the list for some harm. So just avoid it completely by not giving anything in the first place. Okay? And if you decide to ignore my warnings, remember I told you so. You know, and I know, I know some of you don't mind supporting men. And if that's the type of relationship that you want, that's cool. But uh, I just know, I've seen it time and time again. You know, the, the man approaches the woman. Uh, she thinks she's in love. He's telling her, I love you. Blah, 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 blah. Getting married. And, you know, um, you know, all he wants is the green card and things like that. So... Uh, and if they can't get the green card, they just want to take everything they can from you. And they will marry you, so don't get it twisted. They will marry you so they can get their hands on your resources. So, But that's it, guys. I just wanted to let you know that going to Africa alone is a dangerous proposition for us single black women from the West. You know, Even though we don't have half as much money as they think we have, but it doesn't matter. I mean, perception is what matters. And they perceive that we have big bucks. So be safe. Visit. Visit in a group. Y'all remember my tips. And I will see you in the next video.